my sewing space. <laughs> my name's Lily, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, welcome, happy to have you here. Um, yeah, so today, as you will know from the title, I'm going to be showing you how I make scrunchies. Everybody loves scrunchies. I love that they're back in fashion. So good. Here are a few that I have already made up. And let's get started making. Also, uh, just a little side note. If you don't have a sewing machine slash overlocker, um, you can buy them from me. I have an Instagram. This is my Instagram right here. Um, there is also a link in the description. So first off, we have to lay out the fabric flat on a cutting mat. That is if you're going to be using a rotary cutter like I did, but if you are using scissors, you don't necessarily have to cut, have a cutting mat, but I recommend it so that you don't ruin your table. Um, and then we're just gonna use a ruler to measure out roughly 10 centimeters. Normally I don't measure this out just because I can tell just by looking at it how large it needs to be, but around 10 centimeters is preferable for a nice fluffy scrunchie. We are then, once it's cut, going to fold it in half um, so that the right sides are facing each other, aka so that it's inside out. And then I just clip these together. You could also use pins if you don't have these clips. Alright, moving on to the overlocker. Um, if you don't have an overlocker, that is perfectly fine. I recommend either using, I mean, you could use a straight stitch or a zigzag, but I think probably a zigzag would be better just to give it a bit of stretch. And once you get to the end of your fabric, just make sure that you run off um, some extra thread just so that it doesn't come undone. All right, now for the fun part, turning it inside out. I actually genuinely really enjoy turning these inside out. It does take a little bit, um, but once you've done a few of them, you can learn the tricks on how to make it a much faster process. Okay, and for my elastic, I like to use um, extra stretchy hair ties just because they are the perfect length and width for what I like in my scrunchies, but you can also use just any old elastic. Just make sure that it is roughly the same length as your regular hair ties, if not a little bit longer. All right, so the way that I like to thread my elastic through the fabric is by placing it in between the blades of the scissors but without actually cutting the elastic. It is kind of hard but once you get the hang of it <laughs> you can do it. Once it's all threaded through, you can see your scrunchie starting to form and that's very exciting. And then I'm just going to tie this in a double knot and make sure that it is very tight, otherwise it will come undone. And for the final step, I like to fold one of the sides in just so that 
it has a nice edge on to it so that the fabric won't fray and then on the other side I'd like to tuck that one into that folded edge. That was a really bad explanation but you can sort of get what I mean from the visual. Alright and then I just like to do this on a straight stitch. I just used white for both threads but if you have a different coloured scrunchie I recommend matching the thread as close as possible to the colour of that scrunchie. And we're done! Ooh, good job! <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so we went from all of this fabric to this fun scrunchie in five minutes or less, depending on how fast you are at sewing. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, uh, there'll be many more coming. Uh, thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, there will be more, and enjoy living in the 80s. <laughs> Bye guys.